We have an understanding of what channels are and how they can add value to your Slack workspace, but how do we actually create them? Now to go through and create channels, there's a couple different ways we can go about this. The first way is going to our home navigation section and going down to where we see channels and then we can add a channel. We also can add a channel by clicking a little plus sign and then we can add a channel. And you'll even see start a group conversation by topic. So channels are very much just about like having a specific topic. Now I can now go in and create my channel. So it's giving me some, you know, giving me some examples like we can have help for assistant questions topic, project for collaboration on discussion and team. So it's kind of giving us some examples. Now something that's interesting about Slack channels in comparison to other channels you may have seen maybe through Teams or maybe using Google Workspace, whatever other versions of this you may have used, Slack kind of, these channels, the way they're, they're naming convention, it's kind of like uh, social media because they use like a hashtag and then you have like underscores. Uh, there's no like, there's no like grammar. It's kind of more like a code. So for example, like we have, I could do help. So we can make this like um, help. Anytime I add a space, it's gonna add a dash, but you also can add an underscore if you'd like. So we could do help underscore um, website, um, website underscore redesign. So you'll see even when I add, oh my goodness, there we go. When I add a space, it's gonna add that dash in automatically. Uh, so that could be an example of something we can use. We also can do um, project. So I could do project, Project, we see Project Rothcorp can be something that we label. So however you kind of want that to be labeled, you want to keep an eye, you want to have an idea of what you want to use this channel for and how you want to name it. And sometimes too, depending on your organization, maybe your organization has specific naming conventions that they want to use so you can understand like, to be able to find things more organized. So for this one, we're going to call this team. I'm going to call this team underscore uh, Consulting. So this is going to be our team consulting team. Great. I'm going to click next and now I can select the type of channel. So I can make it public uh, for anyone in Aramar or I can make it private. So only specific people can be, uh, can be viewed or joined. So I'm actually going to make this private so I can show you how we can add members to this channel. So I'm going to click create. And now I can start adding people. So I don't need to do this right away. I can always click skip for now. And I'm gonna do that so we actually can look at how we can add members to this team. Now something I do wanna point out now about this is you'll see that on my channels, any private team that I am a part of is represented by this little lock, meaning that it's private. Anything that just has that hashtag or that pound symbol right there is going to tell you that it's a public team, that anyone has access to that. Now, once I'm in here, I can add a description, I can add coworkers, and I can even send emails to this channel. So I have some different options. Also up at the top, I can look at messages, we can add canvases or other applications to our channel here. I also can always right click and I can open a new window, view channel details, I can always jump in and get other information. I can even star this channel or leave the channel if I want to. I also can move to a new section. So you can really kind of like customize where you want things to sit in your navigation for your channels.